Okay, folks, so let's take a look at the, the gun power shadow. It's a really awesome looking piece of kit. It's um, quite light, weighs two and a half kilograms, so quite well balanced as well, especially if the scope is positioned properly. It's got a very, very nice balance. So you'll see at the back over here, we've got the buddy bottle or the air tank fitted as your stock. So you'd actually be shooting off of that and it's quite nicely covered with a rubberized uh, type of material sleeve for your cheek rest. And at the back over here, we've got the butt stock and that can actually be adjusted. So you just uh, slide it up and down depending on where you're going to put uh, position the the actual um, screw okay so let's take a look at some of the other features okay firstly we have very clearly you can see the pressure regulator on the left hand side of the the, the buddy bottle um, it has a very interesting feature called a spin lock you can just see that inside over here now that spin lock is to be able to position your buddy bottle using this spin lock key okay so you'd actually position it over there off you know once you've assembled it tighten up your your spin lock um, let's say nut and make sure that your your pressure regulator is in the right place so it's nice. a cool feature um, to be able to remove the buddy bottle you'd undo that put it back into the the actual uh, case and yeah travel with a smaller box okay another little feature which is quite prominent on the shadow is this power regulator now you can see it's got a, a scale on it from 2 through to 12 and then a subscale setting which you actually rotate inside here and that goes from 1 to 16 so as you rotate that the little screw or the uh, what's that a hex nut moves back and that adjusts your power now it's it's um let's say if you're going to be shooting at, at targets and stuff you want to be able to dial it right down to somewhere between sort of four and six according to the manual and you'll get around 200 shots out of the the actual tank if you're going to dial it all the way up to 12 don't expect a lot more than about somewhere between 35 to 45 shots and in the region of about 9 to 10 that's where you're going to be getting 65 to 75 shots that's according to the the manual i found that i could actually shoot quite a lot more than that um, we, we dialed it in at 12 so um, the manual says you're wasting a little air that way by by shooting this way but for the target shooting you know so for this test we were going high power and at high power we we're shooting at 930 foot per second okay dialing it right back to the setting of around four you're getting around 460 foot per second okay so that makes it ideal for like let's say is low wind um, and target shooting and then obviously if you're going to be trying to go hunting or something like that you know you'd be dialing it up to to the 930 foot per second so yeah it's actually quite a nice little feature and it works quite well okay one thing now it's a single bolt well single shot loading mechanism so if you take a look in there that's where your breech is and move the bolt back lock it into position and it's ready to go now when you do that what's interesting is it's got an automatic safety the safety on this gun where as soon as you you load it pushes the safety back so you have an automatic safety feature on the gun so every shot you have to take the safety off okay which is quite a nice little feature i was going to shoot out into open area behind us or in front of me behind you there we go okay so to load it the move the cocking lever and the bolt forward load your pellet slide it back lock it over you see there's two you can either lock it um, in the to the left or to the right uh, whichever is you fancy and then safety off with your finger pushing it forward and again shooting the shot there we go okay, okay so 
we have a fully integrated silencer over here we've got a 300 millimeter length barrel the total gun length when it's assembled is 840 millimeters um, the the actual silencer is integrated over here and you've got a Lothar Walter premium match barrel okay so you're getting some really really good quality barrels uh, with these um, gun power shadows what um, I did find is that when you load it it's got a lot of room to be able to position it's not very fiddly and um, it makes loading the pellets really really easy I, I, I did like that feature you know not having to try and find the gap so okay, the triggers fairly light but I do hear a little bit of a spring mechanism in it um, you know when I pull the trigger I, I do get a little bit of a, a, a sound from the the trigger um, it is a two-stage trigger I believe so I'm sure you could actually make some finer adjustments to that it's not a difficult trigger to pull it's very direct so as you pull up the slack a little then you, you take the shot okay at the back over here on the side of the the gun we have our filling probe there you go so normal standard fitting put it you know fill the, the air gun there okay just when it comes to filling you'll see that it's marked in PSI okay the fact that it's marked in PSI we fill to 3000 PSI which is 200 bar and at 200 bar you got a 490 cc tank and that gives you at low power around 200 shots okay so let's take a look what's in the box so you've got this nice foam cutout inside the cardboard box um, you can see that the shadow fits nicely into that recess and then the buddy bottle but that's also the buttstock is a separate unit and uh, you attach the two together to be able to actually get the final gun together okay so what comes in the actual box you got your owner's manual and you've got this little envelope that has the spin lock wrench a spin lock allen key and the buttstock allen key um, currently we're shooting the exact jumbo diablo the 15.89 grain pellets uh, the caliber is 0.22 obviously that's a 5.5 millimeter um, pellet that we've been shooting okay so there we go that's what's in the actual box let's have a look and see what's in the owner's manual okay so in the owner's manual for gun power um, you'll see that they give you a very very nicely illustrated book with all the different specifications of the different guns and then what you can do is you can buy this in different uh, size uh, calibers so you've got the um, the 0.177 pellet the 0 0.20 0 0.22 and the 0.25 that's what it, this this goes up to and then um, you've got that two-stage adjustable trigger position automatic um, safety on cocking as we mentioned um, it's got the 490 cc tank it says and then here's the the interesting part the velocities it says anything from 400 to a thousand foot per second you make sure that you dial in your your power setting and then you chrono your gun to whichever setting you require okay so make sure to to really take a look and see you know what you require because I mean if you're just going to be target shooting you don't have to be shooting at full power all the time okay then as we go through the manual it gives you the information on the, the the gun what is interesting which I almost missed is the fact that you've got a lot of rails okay on the gun so obviously the scope is fitting to the top now you can either go open sight or scope you've got accessories rail all the way down the length of the barrel okay now what's nice about that is you could put your optics onto this and I'm talking about like your your lasers or your torches or whatever so you got one at the bottom and you've got one at the top um, that's quite a nice feature and you know I would imagine that a couple of other manufacturers should be actually doing this, something similar to that because it really makes it quite handy to to fit accessories that way okay good you also the the actual um, the grip it's got a very very sort of subtle rubberized feel to it it's, it's made out of a plastic but um, 
you you do have a slight rubbery sort of texture to it as well which I guess is good for for handling and gripping the, the gun okay then after that it shows you how to um, attach the the buddy bottle or the air tank to the actual gun using your spin lock and a detailed inf information on how to use the spin lock feature so make sure to read the manuals with your guns it really is interesting and it does give you a lot more information um, before you even get started so there we go the gunpowder shadow now let's go shoot this gun okay it's time to put the gunpowder shadow through its paces 25 meters let's put five rounds down range and as I mentioned before, it's a single shot. So push the bolt forward, load the pellet, pull it closed and lock it in place. And then you've got to push that, push that safety off, forward. And let's see how she does. Okay, first one down range. Okay, so the gripping's looking pretty good at this point. Yep. I actually thought I had a flyer, but it's actually just gone straight through one of the other holes. Couldn't find the, the point of impact. Okay, so that's four, and here's the fifth. And my GoPro switched off. Okay, so I'll show you the results of that. But I did fire, fire five rounds, and I heard the GoPro actually switch off on that last round. So uh, we'll take a photograph and show you all those. Okay folks, so we set up at 50 meters now. I just changed the orientation slightly uh, to give me the better range um, from what I was shooting at before. But um, we'll shoot down the runway now instead of across it. And uh, see how we do at 50 meters. So, yep. Okay, safety's off. Okay, first shot down range. Okay, let's see how we did. Safety off. See this little breech loading section over here, it's actually quite comfortable. There's quite a lot of room um, to actually load the, uh, the pellet, so it's not a fiddly little mechanism. I'm quite happy with it. Just always remember the self safety to make sure that you take the safety off to fire. There we go, three. Art serum. Safety's off. There we go. Starting to get a bit of wind here. And that's that. Okay, good. So make sure to go check out airguns.ca today. Consider the Gunpower Shadow. It's a nice gun. I think you'll like it too. Um, it's nice and light, compact, does the job. Um, 
can't see that you'll have a problem with it. Go and have a look. Cheers.